I'm not going to lie, people. I have been conned. I've been scammed, deceived, whatever you want to call it, by Iceland. I walked in there and I found these. It says new, so obviously I got drawn in like a magpie to a shiny object. It says four hash brown quarter pounders. So I was thinking, hmm, this sounds interesting. Maybe there's a burger in the hash brown, as you can see here. No, nothing. It is just an oversized hash brown. It's like a hash brown that's been on steroids, and these cost £2 for four of them. Look, that's all it is. I mean, they look massive on the box, don't they? And that's what they are in real life. Compared to my hand, you can see they are they're tiny. They're just a slightly oversized hash brown. So I feel like I've been ripped off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them. I'm going to taste them. These best be the best thing that I've ever put into my mouth. I'm telling you that now. These best taste as good as a big dirty kebab does after about 20 pints. But I've got a feeling they're just going to be hash browns, aren't they? Because how much can you do with potato? Let's go. Let's dig into them. It. So I've cut it open. They are fairly thick. But for 50p for one hash brown, you, you know, you'd expect it to walk the fucking dog, wouldn't you? Is it much different from the hash browns that you can get from Iceland? You can get one kilogram of them for two pound. One kilogram is a hell of a lot of hash browns. Is it much different to them? Slightly, but not enough to justify the price difference. But yeah, they are okay. Value for money, they are not. To be honest, they do taste like there's mashed potato in there. So it's nice and creamy and soft. Slowly changing my opinion of them, but they are still expensive. And I still feel stupid for getting deceived by Iceland, by these hash browns. I'm a food reviewer. I should check these things before I buy them. I think these would be absolutely banging on a burger. So that is what I'm going to try in one of my videos as well. Put these on a burger. Ooh, that's going to hit the spot. All the nutritional information is going to go on the screen here, 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 or here. You can pause it and take a look if you want. So with every bite, I enjoyed them more and more. They tasted like a dirty kebab after about 10 to 12 pints. So that is my taste scale for them. Let me know if you tried them and what you think of them. If you did like this video, then please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you didn't like it, that is just five to 10 minutes of your life you've wasted that you're never, ever going to get back again. And I'll see you in the next one.